Vega. It's that time. I don't pre-order. <laughs> I don't pre-order a lot of games for the content or anything like that. And I especially don't care about collector's editions, ultimate editions, anything like that. But Forza Horizon. As soon as four came out, like I'm pre-ordering the ultimate edition. Give me that hundred dollar version because I am gonna love it. And I did. Oh man, so Forza. I wrote about this on the website, and this is hard to wrap your head around this. Uh, Forza Horizon is the best racing game ever made in an era where not too many people care about racing games anymore. So people <laughs> are just seeing that, oh, here's this really good racing game. I played a little bit. It, it seems pretty good, but I don't play a racing game. That's and pretty like, much you, how I feel about it. You gotta dive in and see what it has, because this one did everything that the first few made good and took things to step up. How so? I, so, I know I heard about like the uh, there was like a, a like Hollywood stunt like mission thing that that goes through a top yep. ten list of all the racing games of all time. Yes, I actually haven't gotten to that. I did this other thing called Stuntman where you gotta uh, do stunts for a movie, and yeah, there's other story modes in this game. So the all the games have had showcase races. And those are big, bombastic, Top Gear-style races where, like, a car will race against a train or race against a, uh, a hovercraft or race against a freaking uh, VTOL aircraft. <laughs> against and, an yeah. aircraft, bro? Against aircraft, A VTOL. Bro? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 and, and they're huge, too. So you, you just get on these absolute wild races, and then this one technically has four story modes on top of that because you get the stuntman. You get the history of gaming uh, item. You get the, uh, there's, they divided the types of races into four separate categories too. So I really feel like uh, the power number for this was four. It's always rule of threes and everything, but Ford is like, no, we're going to have four of everything. <laughs> so four story modes. There were five showcase races, but one of them was literally you doing the same thing you did in the intro. And I was very confused. <laughs> so technically there are only four. Oh. And then the races are divided into dirt, off-road, street race, and and the normal car race. Then. And the normal yeah. car race. What do we call the normal car race? What do we call that? Like, well, it's not it's not sprint because you in it's a circuit. Circuit is what it's called. Right? Well, no, it, they are sprints and circuits. It's just it's mainly on the road. I think. Oh, it's road racing. There we are. <laughs> wow, so never would have guessed it, that at all. <laughs> so this is the. Uh, this is just the experience you get is you get to drive around this uh, fictitious version of the UK and it's gorgeous and if you're a fan of cars you get to see every detail of a car in like stunning precision because you can walk around and look around at just look at the car you've owned you know physically sit in it have a look around at the dashboard and you can drive off there's 450 cars in this one and it's just they did so much they give you so much for everything I let me, tried let me to ask make you this question. also clear. Is 450 cars enough? No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I am 90% sure that three actually had more cars. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's a lot of cars, bro. That's mad Yeah, cars. yeah, it's not, not, not enough. We need more. There's no Tesla this year. So I, I'm heated about my lack of Tesla. Like, where is it? You That's only nuts. had one car you had to include. And you didn't do it. Uh, here's the thing. Okay, so this is when people ask, "What does the Xbox have that other games, that other consoles don't?" You know, and there's only one. It's not Gears, and it's certainly not Halo anymore. Forza is just that good, and it's that good as a fan of racing. And I think the customizability of it is what would really get anyone to play it again. Because the thing I'm thinking is, people have had bad experiences with uh, racing games in their past life. You know. You played all these games where there was like rubber banding where cars would magically catch up to you and some unfair stuff where they didn't feel real. Absolutely. And this game, this game has advanced AI. The cars drive like real people. They absolutely do. Like uh, there's a rewind ability, as we all know. I rewound. And when I did something again, sometimes the cars will drive a different way than they did. So they're like not going on a predetermined path. They're not being dragged around by like, you know, a rubber band. They just drive like real people. And the, the multiplayer in this one is seamless, too. I'm actually always online, but I don't even notice I am. Because I'll just be driving around, and another person playing this game will zip right by me. I'm like, oh, right, I'm online. <laughs> does, that, does that ever take away from the experience in any way? Not really. It just adds to it? 
Yeah, it makes, it makes it feel more lived in, which is good because they have the season. Now there's four seasons. You get to play the game, and every month the season changes. So you'll play for a week in autumn, then it'll move on to winter. Get a week of winter, then you move on. Spring, summer, fall, winter. It goes on a rotation, and you also get weekly and daily challenges. You always have to like buy a specific car and do so many things. There's just endless stuff to do, and the game is constantly rewarding you for doing anything. They give you these wheel spins. Which sounds like a loot crate, but it's not because you can't buy them with money. And it's literally everything wins. So, not loot boxes. And they throw them at you. These little wheel spin rewards you get, they'll give you... Like, I can't go more than 15 minutes in this game without winning a wheel spin in some way or another. It's like, oh, you did a bunch of tricks. Wheel spin. Oh, you won this race. Wheel spin. Oh, you painted a couple cars. Wheel spin. Um, it, it took a photograph. Wheel spin. Sat there doing nothing. Wheel spin. <laughs> Damn. And I thought I thought that like I was concerned for people who play Forza because it did look like there were gonna be like really bad loot boxes. But it just sounds a lot like a better version. Well, I don't want to say better because Need for Speed wasn't that bad. But it sounds like a better version of Need for Speed. I know I said I want to say yeah, better, they, but I still said better. They double <laughs> they double backed on it because there used to be an alternative currency on the Forza games and even Horizon, and they backed out. No more. The only microtransaction besides DLC is the thing that unlocks the whole map, which I got because I'm like, yeah, I don't have time to find these boards to smash. People need to try this game to regain their faith in racing games because this is the Xbox's killer app. They have such a spectacular racing game with a huge ecosystem all around it between all the amount of stuff you have to do in it, and you're going to get the game free with Xbox Game Pass. So if you have that, you already own the game, and at Xbox Game Pass is a pretty decent deal, but... That is what it's there for. That is the number one buy an Xbox game. As long as you can handle that, you're going to have to try racing again and just regain your faith in racing. <laughs> huh. I mean, I've always, I've always been a fan of Forza because of everything that it accomplishes. Um, so I definitely, I definitely can see that. And Horizon always drew my attention because it takes you off of the tracks and puts you in the streets. But I just... And I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see more footage. Actually, play the. I'm gonna have to stop by your place, play the game a little bit, and see if it pulls me in completely. Because that's, that's really all I got. I am going to need to be convinced now, not to get a one X just for this game. <laughs> oh man, don't do it, Kurt. Don't do it. Actually, let's leave it up to the people. Do you think that Mr. Chet should get himself an Xbox One X to perfect the Forza Horizon? This is four, right? Number four. Yeah, Forza Horizon 4 experience, or should he just keep playing the way he's playing now? I mean, like, the, the jump between graphics from Xbox One to PS4, to PS4 Pro, and then Xbox One X, it is a very huge leap between qualities. Like, I can see in this game where the game is supposed to look good, but isn't because I have a One X. So I'm looking at this going, I know this looks better on the other console. And yeah. going, I want to see it. I want to see the better version. Yeah, I feel you. I feel I felt like that in a couple uh, moments in, in Spider-Man. But yeah, I see where you're coming from. All right, folks, let us know in the comment section below. Should Chet's next purchase be an Xbox One X or should he stick with his One S? The fanboy trilogy saga thing continues. Hey, this is Chet from Hard Mode Gamers. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Click that like button, thumbs up, click that subscribe button. We appreciate anything you can offer, even if it's just a moment of your time. We have plenty more of this content available to you at our website at hardmodegamers.com or right here on YouTube. Check us out and thank you.